What's good, y'all? Finally bringing you some Alan Wake 2. The game is out, and it looks absolutely amazing. I should mention, there are some epic game achievements popping up here and there, and they play some sounds. They sound kind of whack. They don't really fit in, obviously, with the whole vibe of the game. I've since been able to disable those, so after the second video you should be hearing none of those. Also been tweaking the graphics settings a little bit, because I noticed the frame rate was a bit off. Also, after the second video, that should be way smoother. Other than that, it's really got a cool vibe to it, so check it out. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. I have no idea what's going on or anything, but here we are. <laughs> Creepy looking place. So I think we're supposed to go here. What? <laughs> Just gotta keep going. Getting somewhere. Okay, we can sprint. Oh god, something behind us? No. Uh, here, I guess.
hide in here, maybe? Let's go there that way. Anything we can interact with? No. Can't tell if we're supposed to hide or not. Kiddo, how are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault people get all murdery. What happened? Just... work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers! I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map.
Okay. Get to the crime scene, find the deputies. Memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Can't interact with the cars. I should take a look at that map. Okay, so we're here, and that's a map. And the goals. Wait, your belly aching, Thorn. I'm up here now. <laughs> that's just how the cookie crumbles. Hey, over here. I'll just follow not Max Payne. Hey there, Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Um, let's see. Any witnesses? Let's go with the briefing. What can you tell us about the crime scene? was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Alright, okay. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. Okay. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Got it, Thornton. <sighs> okay. General store. Anything else out here that we might be interested in? Shut up, Thornton. They can still hear you. Can I go around this? Actually, they can. Uh, only not really. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Need to head to the crime scene. No time to waste. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Okay. Okay, he's bored inside the mind place. The mind place. My version of the mind palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. What else is there? Cannot watch TV in the mind place. Unlucky. Hey, not Max Payne. Can't interact with that. 
Nothing here, or nothing yet. Okay, so basically nothing so far. We do have a map. Everything we know about the previous murders. Uh -huh. Worth taking another look. Case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Use WASD to move around. And the mouse wheel to zoom. And now for you to navigate the case board or leave by pressing escape. So what do we have here? Continue. All victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities. Ted Lane. Wendy Davis. Percy Wolf. Bruising on wrists and legs. Deep gash in the chest. Heart missing. All bodies experienced bloating. Killer profile. Postmortem tattooing of the body. Murder targets have no discernible common traits. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. Maybe a sportsman or a hunter. Okay, so mouse over produces additional info. Illegible tattoos on message from the killer, maybe, or their art. Restraint. Major chest trauma. Only one victim was found in water. Interesting. Found two weeks ago. Cauldron Lake 2018, organs missing, predation, state of the body does not match eight years spent in a lake. Reported missing in 2010, discovered in 2012. Okay. Okay, so we can use Q and E to cycle between these. And F is for cases. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. So what's the map looking like right now? Okay, so we went through the fence. We should now have access to the rental cabins. And we're heading to the general store murder site. Interesting vibe so far. So he's going there. I'm wondering if we should check out this area instead. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. A creepy twig sculpture? Interesting. Hey, Casey, you putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm -hmm. Real funny, Anderson. What's over here? Oh. Chaos at Cauldron Lake. Rampage at the central rental cabins. Unidentified man attacks vacationers in the dead of night. Sunday, an idyllic evening of barbecuing and late night fishing was violent. It disrupted Saturdays. A mysterious assailant attacked park visitors, causing chaos and destruction at the cabins. The incident left three people injured, one of which has been admitted to the country hospital, county hospital. Beating is hard. Trust me. 
As to whether the attacker is still at large, Bright Falls Police have yet to make an official statement, leaving local residents in a state of uncertainty. Witnesses to the crime were visibly shaken, one of whom stated one minute we were laughing and toasting some marshmallows, the next we heard screaming coming up from the cabins. We didn't know what was going on, so we called the police and started running in the opposite direction, said Kurt Mill. Another eyewitness who preferred to remain anonymous said it's like he appeared out of nowhere. Suddenly my dog starts barking his head off and this psycho guy comes crashing through the trees. Don't think I'll ever feel safe in the forest again. A representative from the rental cabins who chose to remain anonymous wanted to remind customers, if you have plans to stay in our lovely cabins later this summer, please get in touch with us as we may need to rejigger some of the reservations based on the state of the cabin that you have rented with us. The representative went on to further remind future and potential guests of the wonderful amenities that can be found in their company's brochures and on the website, which is real nice, state of the art. My nephew and I, wow, my nephew made it and he's a real computer whiz. Okay. Missing Doberman found on the trail. Heartfelt reunion took place this weekend with Mrs. Amanda Smith reunited with her beloved dog, Coffee Bean. CB, as her owner refers to him, had been missing for three days, and Mrs. Smith was afraid that she would never see her best friend again. When I got the call, I couldn't believe my ears. She said, I must have asked, am I dreaming at least seven or eight times? It was actually nine times. Confirmed Ranger Stevenson, the man responsible for finding the wayward canine. It's rare that you get to give these kinds of calls, and I feel real grateful to have the, had the opportunity. What with all the predators out there, usually you're telling folks that you found their dogs dead, their cats eaten, you know? And so it felt real good to give some good news. Even if Coffee Bean is in kind of rough shape, the fur will grow back, sure, but well, I suppose that's all I should say about that. Huh. Yeah, so lots of bad stuff happening. Might be bright, sunny July, but it's never too soon to start worrying about the gloomy months of autumn ahead. That's right, in the grand scheme of life, those dead, depressing days are just around the corner. Have you been taking your vitamin D? Probably not. Before all of you thinking, there's got to be another way. There's good news. Hiking has been proven to be incredibly beneficial to your mental and emotional health. So get on out there and do it. Just don't forget a flashlight in case it gets dark. And little Sally Upton's whole family erupted into cheers when she won the big match this weekend. Was she playing soccer? Tennis? No. In this brave new world that we live in, her family was cheering her on as she won a match in a game that exists only on the information superhighway. The game in question was Mega Baking Star, in which players compete to make the tastiest treats and sweetest eats for their virtual judges online. Bright Falls congratulates Sally on her big win. Interesting. What can we see in the pictures, I wonder? So we, if you hit zoom, it just zooms in on this particular area. And you can't move around. And I think that's all of it. Okay. Hold up, not Max. Looking for clues, because detectiving. I feel like we're about to miss a clue if we just blindly follow him, so we're just going to inspect everything we can. No, 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 don't. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Just in case. Okay. The mighty mountain in the distance is no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. So just to make sure, uh, where are we on the map? Okay, so we're there, we need to get here. Okay. Uh, 
Real quiet out here. So what's over this way? Right. So we could actually go sort of around the rental cabins. Come on, Mad Max. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Surely we can access this for a reason, right? Interesting. I wonder if there's any markings that we should be on the lookout for. Mortar Falls. This powerful feat of nature will revive the spirit as it does the surrounding nature. Churning, grinding waters at the bottom of the falls resemble a mortar and pestle, quite like the one the Witch of Cauldron Lake is fabled to have used to travel through the night sky, really. Okay, nothing over here. That's where we came from. I feel like this is one of those things that we should be able to shoot later on as a collectible of is some sort. Is that a Ooh. kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. My dad used to say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Not sure where the tough get going to, but maybe you'll find it inspiring. Huh. Manuscript fragments. Right. Can we use to upgrade weapons in the mind place? You don't say. Um, left click, hold the fire button to auto activate auto fire, significantly increases the rate of fire, increases the mag size by 50%. Land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. Aha. Okay, so we now also have a weapons uh, upgrade section. Interesting. Okay, so that was worth it. And then this part is us going around. Right. So we're basically going to meet Nod Max in a second. Welcome back, Anderson. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Let's see. So we broke off. I over. think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. Okay. Yeah, what's this over here? Nothing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. So right click lets us zoom in a little. Okay, he wants to go left, which is towards the general store. What's down here? Aha. Uh -huh. 
I suppose I should join him. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. It did pay off last time, but Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind this door. Come on, I'll show you. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. Those are real? You guys hiring? Oh, he's Let's just see this body, shall we? Hmm. Doesn't hurt to look around, I guess. Let's go check out the body first. Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Step one. Examine the corpse. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Unlock your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mind place. Okay, C allows Saga to see active clues. The key image can be selected with left click and placed on the case board. So you hold C. And then left click. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Placing a key image on the case board begins a new line of investigation. Interesting. Another body has been found in the woods of near Bright Falls. Perfect timing. Need to see if this is linked to the killings we're here to investigate. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Consistent with previous murders, yes or no? Objectives are viewable at the case board in your goals by hitting control. Now free to examine or leave. Find evidence. Ah, so this creates. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message. Let's see what this produces. Think Saga. Let's see, what does this say? Found a strange lunchbox. Who left this here? Should keep an eye out for others. Talk to someone, find evidence, find evidence. Hmm. Writer of the note is leaving these to inspire someone. Are they really for me? So that's how we can re review cases. Okay.
Collect clues from the body to process the investigation. Let's see. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Heart was removed, but then left on the table near the body. Was this murder interrupted? So... Left click. Okay, so you have to zoom out a little. Bruising indicates victim was alive when restrained matches other cases. Okay, so then this goes here. Heart removed from chest. Strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. The clues have resolved the open question and unlocked the deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. You can check the updated goals by pressing control. Learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. Now free to examine the board or leave. Murder matches previous cases, but interrupted. May find some new leads this time. Need to talk somebody to figure out who the victim was or more about them. Find evidence of the killers. Okay. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was yeah. it for a camera? Huh. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Okay, let's go to the case board. So I feel that multiple sets of footprints not right really <sighs> really So it said that another deduction is available. Okay. Um Was he killed here or brought here after? 
for display. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Clues can be discovered by speaking to people as well as by examining your surroundings. Yeah. It's kind of how clues work. Can't go here. Can we talk to you some more? No. Let's see what else is out here. Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Confused, follow these steps, wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge, take a nap. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see if we can find some clues for opening that box. What? Why are we stuck on this? I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. Um, use what to activate the flashlight? F? No. C, no, E. Hello. Hello. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. So two triangles next to each other, one on top of the other, and two of them apart. Let's try that. So and then kind of overlap. Let's see if we did this correctly. Okay, so that may be the right symbols, but we still need the right sequence. It's not the same. <laughs> Hey, Casey, what's the forest's favorite shape? 
Please, Anderson. Just one case without the rent. A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. Let's see. Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. What if that's not true? What if it's something else, something less natural and much more man-made? Intentional. I say the lake's not formed, it's designed. And it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake, preparing. I know it. First drawing, water line, real caldera is made from a volcano. Lava. Second drawing, water line, engineered structure, strange machines. Huh. Water line. And it feels like it should be possible to... I'm getting flashbacks. Remember Ohio? Sure. The North Side Slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. Oh, wait. Wash your hands, chicken out of the fridge, nap. Okay. So, wash your hands. So those two, chicken out of the fridge. And then take a nap. So pointing up, pointing down, together, apart. Trust me, well, I've been doing some deep research on life, and I know how to keep confidential matters uh, confidential. Look, I get that the UFO thing was a joke, but you're probably... Bingo. Did the blitz hide the truth from the average Joe? Okay, I found some gear. Let's get back to work over here. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Huh. Hmm. Okay, so... No one's heard from this guy in 13 years. Why surface now? Where has he been? Oh. Okay. 
let's see, where are we right now? Okay, so we can kind of circle around. Let's see what's over here. Looks like our flashlight doesn't work. <laughs> Interesting pile of rocks. Huh. Oh, you're kidding. UFOs and you, the ultimate guide to spotting unidentified flying objects. Writing this down in case it happens again and I forget I got that feeling again. It hit me suddenly at 1.15 a.m. after I'd finished my ama on the porch of the trailer. Got in the car and drove, chasing it. Starry night, not much moon. As expected, it led me past Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. I tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought, combination to have it all aligned to make it happen. Terrified it would. It didn't. Not this time. Frustrated, but relieved. I scanned the sky for the shapes, the objects, nothing. But when I blink repeatedly, I think I saw the afterimage of the octahedron. It faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me here but not here. It's him. I know it is. Does he know I'm getting close? On the right track, I was right to come to Bright Falls. Heather... Lie pay or something? Huh. Oh, look at that. How do you like the knitting, hero? Made it just for you. How do they know I knit? Maybe just a coincidence? Point of interest cases track objects and information that Saga has acquired to chart collection progress. Right. <clears throat> so it does go there. You just have to select the yellow bit or something. Made a mess here, caught up in the act of just sloppy work. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Multiple assailants. Quite the party. Multiple assailants present, messy scene, crime of passion, premeditated. Unlikely our killer was working alone. Right, so it needs to be the yellow bit or this bit, not the photos bit for it to register. Okay. We are really detectiving the crap out of this, so so far so good, I'd say. Where does this put us? Back here. Interesting. And over here we have...
What exactly? Security perimeter. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Nice talking to you, too. Interesting. I'll be back. Or maybe we will, because no Max and I are... Uh, I mean, not Max and I, of course. Can be quite persistent. Locked. They really don't want people coming in here. Huh. And what do we have here? Oh, this is that same shack. Okay. Don't be a smartass, not Max. Nobody likes a smartass. Let me investigate. Okay, learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. And control also opens our inventory. What is this? A bandage. Handgun ammo. Firearm. Charm bracelet, flashlight. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze. Booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. So he's been missing since 2010. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Okay. We've learned new stuff. Nine go went off the deep end. FBI fired him. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that goes here. Robert Nightingale, ex FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Mental state questionable at time of disappearance. Meditated or spontaneous, and now we have these clues. Staking out the spot, having a cold one while they waited for a victim? Nah. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. You can use profiling inside Saga's mind place to get inside the heads of suspects and victims. Okay. 
Let's try that. Wait, also there's... This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst mom. Okay. So how does profiling work? Using her intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Uh, okay. So what do we do exactly? Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Oh, so we get clues from this. Okay. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Like the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Interesting. So is there anything else we can do here? No. Now that we've done this, I think we got clues for the case board. Right. You can feel that Nightingale came from the lake, but why now after 13 years? Where's he been? Interesting. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. Check the lake shore. Don't have anything else to say. All right, let's go. Let's check the map real quick. So that's the buzzer. Which is interesting, by the way. And I guess we're heading... Towards the lake, yep. Yeah. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. And that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of owl murder. Hmm. There's no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape, and yet there are many mysterious stories about the lake, it being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. Legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named the Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. 
With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf, or so the legend goes. Hmm, dark. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Can we collect this in any way? A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, words, the words. These, these words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How, How could they, they not accept? accept even, even if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting, hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Manuscript pages can be read inside the mind about place. This page. Let's see. Trail's gone cold. Came from Cauldron Lake, footprints emerging from the rock. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Asking wrong questions. Anything else here? Page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Something hidden inside of him. Let's see. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Need to get body back to town for examination. Okay. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Okay, let's go back. Come on, not Max. Why are you running? Why are you running? So it looks like we can't go to the lake, but... Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? 
Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about control. Deciding what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. Can't go any further. Water's too deep. It's just important that we don't miss anything, because there could be more clues. Welcome back, Anderson. Thanks, not Max. This has got a very cool slow burn thriller suspense vibe to it. I'm really digging this so far. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Caldera is a pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. Hey, you made I mean, it back. <laughs> Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Can we examine this before getting it back to town? Looks like we can't. Alright. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deer Fest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Deer Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. We take those. Thanks. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. That works. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. I can't tell if it's a nice day out or not. One moment the sky is kind of blue, the other is gray. <laughs> Have we been here? FBC station. No, we haven't. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. Of course. I bet we can shoot these later. A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here? We're on this together, hero. Have a heroic day. <laughs> Okay, so there's five more in this whole area. And seven in the Bright Falls area. 
Now we need to talk to someone about the clues, okay? Okay, that seems to be uh, it for now. Let's go. Wait up, God Max. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Hmm. Yep. That seems to be it. And that puts us right by the parking lot. Okay. I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. We hadn't seen these before. Rarest wildlife in the Pacific Northwest. Finally made my way to Cauldron Lake. The fence was easier to climb over with the proper gear and skills, which I thankfully possess. Next goal, spotting the rare and elusive orange crowned warbler. A little late in the season, but hopefully I can catch it before it begins its journey south. Notice intriguing behavior in the surrounding common bird life. They seem to be alarmed and swarm around the lake. No birds of prey nearby. There are some stranger sounds carried on the wind, however. Nothing I can recognize or explain. Getting a little concerned. I might have to find another spot somewhere safer. Sounds are getting closer. Moved inland. Foliage is stunning. Must come back and fall. Had to stop and sketch this gorgeous vine maple. Just the way the Methuselah's beard hangs off it. This is why the trees are better than people. Speaking of people, saw some drunk guys staggering around the forest earlier, acting weird. Maybe drugs? Kept my distance. Should probably find another spot. It's so annoying. After I saw that weirdo guy, I decided to change spots again. Moved up the mountain a bit. Found a fantastic overlook to camp at but I'm more interested in this Alaska onion grass. Invasive, but edible and surprisingly tasty. Started hearing wolves or wild dogs or something like 10 minutes ago, but they sound wrong. Rabies? Wanna leave, but the sun is going down and my stupid phone is dead. Gonna hide in the tent and hope they go away. Something is really not right about this place. Huh. So who left these, I wonder? That's interesting. Interesting indeed. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Now it's here, right? Yes. Okay. One last sweep. Okay, and I believe this is where we went the first time. It is. Alright, 